Kelvin Cochran grew up in Shreveport, Louisiana, one of six children raised by a single mom in extreme poverty. My father left my mother, and my mother never remarried. Uh, when he left, uh, we were already poor when he was there, but after he left, we couldn't afford to live in the projects anymore. Uh, I remember times when uh, our water was turned off, and um, we had to f keep pots and jugs in the house full of water because my mother knew a few days the that we would have no water. But while short on money and even short on food and water, Kelvin Cochran was never short on dreams. Well, all my childhood, I thought about two things growing up, uh, not wanting to be poor, uh, and I wanted to be a firefighter when I grew up. Cochran accomplished his dream and more. After decades of distinguished service, including time as fire chief in Shreveport and Atlanta, Cochran was named to the highest post in the fire profession, U.S. Fire Administrator under President Obama. It's really an understatement for me to say that my dreams came true. They have been uh, exceeded far above I've ever thought or asked. And, um, you know, those principles that I was taught as a kid, faith in God, education, respect authority, and treat other people like you want to be treated, really fed my career success uh, and my life's success. Cochran was, quote, begged, end quote, by Atlanta Mayor Kasim Reed to return to his old post. He did and was later named Fire Chief of the Year for 2012. But in November 2014, Cochran was suspended without pay for 30 days, and the city of Atlanta launched an investigation. Despite being cleared of any discrimination by investigators, Chief Cochran was fired January 6th. To actually lose... Uh, my childhood dream come true profession, where all of my expectations have been greatly exceeded uh, over uh, my faith. The very faith that caused me to get my job uh, ultimately has cost me my job. One of the most decorated fire chiefs in America was suspended, investigated, and ultimately fired because of his Christian faith. Every American should be concerned about a government that thinks it can fire you because of what you believe, which is exactly what happened to Chief Cochran. If it can happen to him, a distinguished firefighter who attained the highest position uh, in the fire service in the United States, it can happen to anybody. The center of the controversy is a 2013 men's Bible study and devotional that Cochran wrote on personal time. This 162-page book on Christian living and God's plan for our lives only briefly mentions that all sex outside of marriage, including homosexuality, is counter to biblical teaching. But it was those few sentences that got Cochran in hot water. Despite being completely exonerated uh, over concerns related to his conduct and how he treats people, the city fired him anyways. And that, that really goes to show that they fired him for one thing, and that is he held the wrong beliefs, according to the city. The city and the activists who called for the chief's job will have a hard time running from overt public statements targeting Cochran's faith and even his thoughts. City Councilman Alex Wan, a leader in the campaign to oust Cochran, told the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, I respect each individual's right to have their own thoughts, beliefs, and opinions. But when you're a city employee and those thoughts, beliefs, and opinions are different from the city's, you have to check them at the door. USA Today quoted Mayor Reed making clear that Cochran's Christian beliefs were not welcome in his administration. The material in Chief Cochran's book is not representative of my personal beliefs and is inconsistent with the administration's work to make Atlanta a more welcoming city for all citizens. The reality is the mayor, when he suspended him without pay for 30 days, came out and said that he profoundly disagreed with and was deeply disturbed by what Chief Cochran wrote in his book. Uh, and that was the reason given for the initial suspension. Now, sure, the city has come out and said a lot of different things since then. Uh, those are what we call pretexts in the law. Pretexts are things that you say to try to cover up the wrong things that you did, and that's what the city's doing here. In America, it's unlawful to target public employees for their religious beliefs, so Alliance Defending Freedom has stepped in to defend Cochrane. All Americans uh, are guaranteed the freedom of actually believing and thinking uh, in such a way that does not cost them the consequences that I've experienced uh, in this termination. ADF attorneys filed a federal civil rights lawsuit to vindicate Chief Cochran's freedoms and to send a message to the government that you can't fire someone for their religious beliefs and thoughts.